as the question says in an experiment on photoelectric effect light of wavelength 400 nanometers is incident on a cesium plate at a rate of 5 watt the potential of the collector plate is made sufficiently positive with respect to the emitter so that the current reaches its saturation value assuming that on the average one out of every 10 to the power 6 photons is able to eject a photo electron find the photoelectric current in the circuit now all we need to find is the photo current in the circuit now this can be found out by finding the number of photo electron this is what this is charge per unit time that is charge per second so in case I'm able to find out the number of electrons or the photo electrons per second I will be able to find the photo current if I write it as I, I it is basically Q by T so but what is charge this is charge is the number of electrons into the photo electrons upon time so if I can find out the f number of photo electrons per unit time I will be able to find this so let us work for finding out the number of photo electrons per second and they have given us a relation between the emission of photons and the electrons so even if we are able to find the number of photons per second we will be able to find it now we all know that the energy of one photon or each pho photon is given by hc by lambda and they have given us the lambda so let us put that over here to find the energy corresponding to that photon that is okay let us write it as that only because why I have kept it like this is just to avoid the calculations in case something gets cancelled in further calculations now we need to find the number of photons per second and how is that possible that is possible by total energy upon energy of each photon right this is obviously going to give us the number of photons and if everything is in seconds like the energy per unit time this being the energy then I can get the number of photons per unit time so basically what I am doing is dividing the power which is 5 by whatever this energy of each elect this is but this power was in watts but this was in electron volts so I need to convert this in joules only because what is joule per unit joule per second is watts so I need to convert this into joules so that this joules gets cancelled and for that I need to divide it by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 so this is basically the rate at which the photons are incident on the metal or the emitter actually now if this is the rate of the photons that is this this number of photons are actually incident per second and they are telling us that out of this much photons only one is emitted so how much electrons are emitted out of this much photons we can write it that as number of electrons per second to be the number of photons per second that is this divided by 10 to the power 6 right so we have got the number of electrons per second putting this value n by t this is basically n by t only putting this value over here we need to find the current i which is now the number of electrons per second into the charge of each electron that is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 so this gives us the current which is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 6 ampere 
और सिंपली 1.6 माइक्रो एम्पियर 